ยังจงใจจงเนี่ยจิกติเนี่ยจ่าเทชงพยายามชวนส่วนส่วนตัวเดินเอาคุยให้ไว้จะว่าเลยว่าลุยหลินตุนุติจ่าเชียงว่าพ
First, let me begin by thanking our elected officials and special guests for being here today. Your presence shows a significant, the significance of this memorial event as we remember and honor our leader, General Van Kao. I'm pleased to see our community come together to celebrate the life and the legacy of General Van Pao. If you are like me, it seems as if General Van Pao is still with us. The reality is that he has passed away for a year now. Even though he's not with us in person today, we know that he is with us in spirit. Today, we remember General Van Pao as a military, military commander. Today, we remember General Van Pao as a visionary Hmong leader. Today, we remember General Van Pao as a great hero. Today, we remember General Van Pao as a fighter of oppression and communism. Today, we remember General Van Pao as a defender and a symbol of freedom and democracy. Today, we remember General Van Pao as, a, as an advocate for justice and human rights. And today, we remember General Van Pao as a father of the Hmong people. We not only remember, but more importantly, we're here to celebrate the extraordinary life accomplishments of General Van Pao. For more than 60 years, General Van Pao has given everything he could to help advance his people. He was a courageous and a visionary Hmong individual. He had a vision for the Hmong people to have a peaceful and a better life for themselves. Since a young man, he knew what he needed to do to protect his people from hatred, discrimination, oppression, and communism. He rose to the occasion to defend his people from tyranny. He worked tirelessly to bring the Hmong people dignity, respect, and equal treatment no matter where they live. Jero Van Pao led the Hmong through the fight against communist expansion in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War. He led the Hmong out of Laos as refugees after the war. He led the Hmong in their resettlement in the United States. The fact that General Van Pao, as a young army officer, agreed with the United States to fight the Pate Lao and the powerful North Vietnamese communists in the early 1960s was remarkable. After the war, he then cleared the way so that the Hmong could come to America in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and even the, uh, the, uh, from 2004 to 2006. His actions speak volume about his vision in, and his leadership ability. He had taken many giant steps that few people would, have, would be able to and would be willing to do. As a result of his efforts, the Hmong's challenging yet look, forward looking journey to America changed our way of living, our way of thinking, and our history forever. It changed the Hmong from a, an agricultural society to the now 21st century technological advancement. Now, we are the United States citizens and can call the United, United States of America home. We now have a better life with peace, freedom, <coughs> democracy, and opportunities. As influential as Joe Rank Powell was, he always made himself available to people. He had the, I had the opportunity to talk and meet with General Van Pao on a number of occasions. He usually had an open mind and listened to people's issues and concerns. Even though he was being occupied with many important responsibilities, he often accepted invitations to come to Warsaw and Wisconsin to meet with Hmong community leaders, leaders 
and with state leaders. He was totally committed to the cause of his people until the day that he had to be taken to the hospital. As the monk saying, General Vang Pao may have gone to eternal heaven. He will watch over the monk people from beyond this life. He work and his work and his wishes are for Mom to remain strong, to love each other, to work together, to, to work hard and to get a good educa education, to contribute to society, and to raise future generations who will carry on the proud heritage of the Hmong people. Dr. Martin Luther King said, and I quote, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. In a very broad sense, General Van Powell had been the light and the love for the Hmong people through the best of time and through the worst of time. General Van Powell devoted all his life working for guiding and leading his people from being a soldier to a military, military commander, a refugee, an advocate, and to a cultural leader. For his vision, his leadership, his tireless efforts to make a difference in our lives, we are ever grateful. General Van Pao would be proud of the Hmong people if he can continue the light and the love that he studied for each other, for the Hmong as a whole, for the community and the nation in which we live, and for future generations. May General Van Pao's legacy live on. Thank you very much. 以上呢，这个电影叫《铁穹不羡》，出自《春日速度》。可能有个报道了呢，呀，陆空青的一个都装懵，都起价，你要赚的不怕跑，故意要 reach 不了哇，那干要用星期六啊。